one thing about me is just learning to embrace things that society deems as not beautiful. Not beautiful. Hey Fabulous people, it's your girl Chrissy and I'm back with another video. This time it's a little different. So I actually wanted to show you all how I shop online as a plus size woman, just like what I look for, um, just to kind of put it in my mind on what it might look like on me. So if you've seen my video, my previous videos, you know I am plus size, I'm kind of curvy um, and I usually wear a size 2X. So Fashion Nova is a company I frequent, um, and this is usually how I just navigate their page and also just navigate in if things will look good on me. Okay, so let's just go to, let's just go to New In. So of course, if you want to like narrow it down, like they have like pretty good selections. Like if you want some Halloween costumes, if you want some sweaters, like whatever you want, go there. I'm just doing some random stuff. So let's just go to shop all. Okay, so ooh, that's a nice fur jacket. Could definitely use that. I actually have a fur jacket like that in my wardrobe and I actually want more furs either. Anyways, okay, so i'll be scrolling you know until i find something i like and you know because sometimes it can take a long time to find something i like oh that's cute let's let's start with this first of all you know prices prices of course number one and of course do they have my size it's actually a decent price um 27 a little steep honestly for this dress but 27 i mean i guess uh they do have my size now Usually what I do, so thankfully Fashion Nova has both slim and plus models um, for most of their pictures where they have um, both of the sizes. So usually what I look at first is the picture. So I say like, okay, um, how far is this slit up her leg? Okay. Then I look at the back. Okay. Boom. That's, you know, that's a little far. But, you know, if it could work, but I personally probably wouldn't buy this because of that and this. Like, I have no boobs for this, okay? My boobs don't sit up, <laughs> so I need to wear a bra. And honestly, boob tape, hate it. Haven't found one I like yet. Um, so unless I did like Mrs. Kisses, in which honestly, Mrs. Kisses, I tried to wear that recently and it just made my boobs look super fucking big. Um, but I digress. But I probably wouldn't buy this dress because of the bit back being out and the boobage over here. Um, and it's just not something I could wear a bra with or, you know, even finesse anything. And then also the damn slit is all the way fucking up here. If you catch a fucking drift of wind, nigga, your ass is out, like for real. So I would probably say no to that dress. Um, fashion over jeans, uh, they don't usually, they've worked out for me like before, but it's like hit, hit or miss. Um, so let's keep going. Usually with leather, I always size up. Um, let's try to find like a regular dress. That's interesting, but... Uh, let's let's look at this one. Okay, so for a regular dress, the first thing I always want to know is how short is it? So this is actually a better picture. Okay, so like I see her booty is like right there. That's the bottom of her booty. And then that's how much fabric it is. You see her fingertips kind of down. Then look at the front. I'm trying to see her damn knees. There we go. Okay, so it's not too far above the knee. Um, and it doesn't say it's a mini, does oh, it does say it's a mini. It is actually not as many of a mini dress could be. 
um and it is oh, 28 dollars, which is still a lot um for this very basic velvet dress maybe because it's velvet i don't know um but you know i would if if i liked this fabric in a color then i would get this dress it passes my test on if it would look good on me so i don't really, like if it was I'm, I'm gonna try to find a real mini dress try to find a real mini dress for y'all this might be a good one no oh lord no not we're not even gonna look at that one <clears throat> see they keep saying see this one this one might be okay to show let's see the back okay y'all see if you if you look back at that girl how far down it was above her knee versus how short this is above her knee so it's actually a little lower in the back than I expected and it could be because of the way she's standing but I probably wouldn't buy this dress because okay if I'm curvy I have a big butt then it's going to make things rise um now of course if you don't have like a a larger bottom area then short shit probably works for you um, but if you are more curvy in the bottom area then I definitely look at where it is above their knee to their fingertips you see that's like right at her fingertips um also I wouldn't buy this because what the fuck is what the fuck brought my post to wear okay that would be a Mrs. Kisses type of thing possibly and possibly not this would probably have to be a boob tape thing and like I told y'all I'm really not interested in boob tape right now <laughs> Um, I do want to try um, Brassy Bra, though. I have been seeing a lot of uh, reviews, not reviews, um, a lot of girls just wearing it and advertising it. So I'm going to give Brassy Bra a go, and we go see what happens. That's a nice fur. Might come back for that. See, now I'll pay $40 for a little fur jacket because it's cute, you know? But it's so many dresses, like, you want pay $30 for this damn dress? I don't know. And, like, look at that, $40 for this damn sweater set. Anyways, I'm not here to criticize. I'm here to show y'all how to shop. Now, of course, with, like, sets and things, like, unless it's, like, a non-stretch type of thing, I mean, that's, like, pretty. You could probably just get your regular size. And, like I said, with their jeans, eh, they, they, like, hit or miss for me. Um... Yeah, you know, that's, I have this top, very cute. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm clearly getting carried away looking at the stuff. Um, but that's pretty much how I shop um, when I'm looking online, just looking at different things. Also, almost forgot to tell you all, let's click on this. It will usually tell you here under product details if it stretches or not. So stretch spandex okay that's how you know it's gonna stretch on you now if it don't if it say like non-stretch or um the fabric that they use is like a non-stretch material personally I don't recommend those um uh, but if you you know if it's cute to you you want to try it then definitely but if you watch my previous videos then you know um I love a stretch i live for them okay live for a stretch because especially with my weight fluctuating so much up and down up and down um the stretch really helps with that so that's usually why i buy mostly stretch materials um and outfits so yeah that is uh pretty much what i wanted to show you all about how i shop if y'all have any suggestions for your girl on you know just like getting the girls up there um for different outfits definitely let me know because at this point I feel like my my wardrobe is missing out because all of this open you know like lace up front shit is going on and I want to be involved but you know I ain't about to be out here looking crazy so let your girl know um this was a very short video but um definitely check out my next video um uh, subscribe to my channel and thank y'all for watching if y'all have any questions um about fashion in general or just styling how you, how I how I found my style anything like that like just drop it in the comments and I will definitely answer you all right well until next time thank you